on this Sunday we celebrate the Father's Day the day we pray especially for our men especially in a time when family systems are so much attacked and the identity of of what it means to be a man is is challenged so the church provides us with the opportunity to reflect on the life and the lessons from saint joseph as we celebrate our men so today i wish to share with you a few points from the life and lessons of saint joseph even though in the scriptures we do not hear so much about St. Joseph, yet his life contains so much, so many lessons for us and for our men to embrace. First of all, St. Joseph might reminds us that fatherhood is perfectly expressed through unconditional love. That means that fatherhood is showcased by selfless, sacrificial, self-emptying love for humanity and to, fam and to the family. St. Joseph also shows that the most profound service of a man is often not seen or applauded. Most often, St. Joseph was only spoken of as a carpenter and later he said, of his loving guardianship of his family, of Jesus uh, and Mary. We said, literally said of him, but we know that he represents more than just what he does. He reminds us that a father is who you become and the privilege and the gift that you receive. And that gift and privilege must be lived in a manner that shows how much we appreciate that. That is, that, that is one of the things St. Joseph reminds us today as we celebrate. He also knew that his work is a means to an end and that the end is love. Men must be sensitive to the needs of the family and they understand the love language they need and not just assume what he feels they want. Fatherhood again bestows both responsibility and authority, not just rights. Men must know that authority is a gift while power is not. Men must exercise the authority in total commitment to God and their vocation as servant leaders of their homes. And fatherhood also is a direct service to God and must be carried out in humility and total submission to the will of God for your life as men, for your family, as the domestic church, and as the, and the society at large. St. Joseph also realized that the family is the domestic church and he made every effort to nurture the faith of his family and to grow together. And they grew together as disciples. Men must understand how impactful their witness of faith is. Make God a priority actually in their lives and choices. Above all, St. Joseph realized how necessary interior life is and how crucial a good relationship with God is in carrying out his mission he took care of his prayer life and was able to hear God and to discuss with God about his plans for his rule. And he trusted in God more than he did trust his abilities and talents. We pray for men today that God will bless them and be with them. Those who are struggling, that God will transform them. Above all, that they will be committed to the rule they have received. That God will always be with them and guide them and show them love and care, that they will do, use the same love and care God has expressed to them to lead and to be servant leaders in their homes and in the church and in the society. Happy Father's Day.